Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Truberbrook on iOS and I'm excited to give it a try. Enjoy! Sorry, pal. We're out of gas and your engine is boiling. Let's see if we can fix you up here. We'll be back on the road in no time. Stranded in the middle of nowhere. Show inventory. Hmm. Some of these constellations seem familiar. Or do they? At least the cold chain is unbroken. I wish it's frozen shut. My tires should still last a couple of miles. Somebody forgot their toolbox. This loot box contains only some rusty pliers. Uh huh. Hansen's ice cream. I used to love it when I was little. Alright, how do I use... How do I use the pliers? I'm trying to tap on the pliers. Can you please let me in? I'm totally not a vampire, I swear. Hello? Anybody in there? I could really use some gas. Locked. Of course. Ah. How should I open the door with these rusty pliers? It's just one short circuit before everything blows up into my face. No juice. Terra Incognita Scenic Highway. Next town ahead. Long shot by the sea. Sounds promising. Hmm. Dad used to say, a flawless establishment needs flawless window panes. Out of gas. And the engine is overheated. Those pliers won't help me with that. Not a chance. I need to find some gas and engine coolant first. If it wasn't for the sand and rubble, the impenetrable darkness, the legions of bugs and that awful smell of gasoline everywhere, this sure could make a nice place for a picnic. Everything's a little small. I didn't expect that. I don't know how you would play on an iPhone if it's this small on an iPad. Dad used to say, a flawless establishment needs flawless window panes. Is this not what... Does it ever rain here anyway? Aha. No way. A hidden replacement key. That was too easy. As if it wanted to be found. Oh, wait. Locked. Of course. 
It fits. That was almost too easy. It's pitch black. I can't even see my own hands. Hmm. There's something funny about that picture. It's all like it's there's nothing else here. Oh, let me see. Oh. Oops. A hidden switch. Aha. Uh -huh. This must be the main fuse. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. I know this image. Daytona Beach Race 58. What an event. This thing wouldn't take me far out here. The landscape on that picture vaguely reminds me of... home. It's a picture of a buffalo. What I wouldn't give to be there. All I have left are a few Deutsch marks. Pretty useless out here, anyways. Extra large, no refill. Mm -hmm. Looks dusty. 20% bun, 5% cold cuts, and 75% cling film. Thanks, but no thanks. Cherry pie. If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and hot coffee. Coffee. If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and hot coffee. again. Drink up. You must be dying of thirst. Not until I have found a way to cool down the engine. Cold water is leaking out. Uh -huh. Cold as ice. Exactly what I need. There you go. Have some Kool-Aid. Good to go. But which way? If I only had a clue where I am. Mm. Maybe there's something in here. This is the end of nowhere. I wonder if these postcards would ever reach their destination. This one shows a map of the area. I'll take it with me. Uh-huh. Quite off the beaten track. Finally, we can make off again. Oh, 
come on. Start already. It's that darn oil pump again. Looks like we'll be stuck here for a while. Oh no. Sure, this is the right place. When's the next bus back to the city? Beverly, I have arrived. I feel spewn out into the most barren, dark void of Europe. All things considered, this could most likely be the best vacation ever. Feeling chilled out already. Okay, so that's the character I was expecting. The bus stop. My gateway to the outside world. Ah, yes. That's where I am. The next city is like a thousand miles away. Its heydays are over. Brr, looks cold. Hades. Paddleboat rental, souvenirs, fishing supplies. Closed. A hiking map of the region. The upper section has been torn off. Hmm. I wonder what 
what that is. What's in my bag? What's that circle with the one on it? I wonder what that is. Is that a fox? Arrived at destination after a short walk, Trubberbrook, a tranquil little town, seems a bit run down. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with this town already. <laughs> that is one strange looking cat. I think it's a fox. Aww. That's probably the town's landmark. Wooden fences always remind me of my old neighborhood. This bucket seems to have been hung here for purely decorative reasons. There's a selection of local charcuterie on display. Wurstebrei, Stippgrütze, Schlagte Platte, Patoke, Tote Oma. Hmm. The mysterious village. Who is into this kind of stuff? The time-traveling machine. Complete nonsense from a quantum mechanical perspective. This must be the place. Evening. Hey. Nobody there, huh? Doesn't seem so. Hmm. Where is everyone? I saw someone here just a minute ago. Oh, thanks. That wasn't super helpful. Please ring bell for service. We only serve small pots of coffee outside the restaurant. Oh, okay. They don't seem to have many bookings. All the keys are still there. Hello? I'm not going to give up. Good afternoon. How can I help you, darling? Um, there's a room reserved for me. You know the, the lottery? I won a stay over here. You won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? Well, actually, I don't really remember taking part in any lottery myself. Yet I received this winning notification. What was the name again? No. Hans Tannhauser. Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Tannhauser, Tannhauser, Elevenhauser. Oh, oh, Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Oh, yes, here we have it. <laughs> Say, is it a quiet room? Seeking some peace and quiet, uh-huh. Well, I'm working on a text and I could really use some serenity. Text? Are you a kind of writer or something? I'm a physicist. Right now, I'm writing a paper on quantum physics. I've heard worse. You arrived just in time for the big anniversary celebration. Trüberbrook is a bit noisier than usual around these days. 
But apart from that, I'd say you have nothing to worry about in terms of disturbance. Here's your key, Dr. Tenhauser. My name is Trude, by the way. If you don't mind, where are all the other guests? Let's put it this way. The season in Trüberbrook is already over. I get the impression the season has been over for some time. Oh. just disappear with my paper? Something unusual happened. There was an uninvited guest in my room tonight. Now that he's escaped, I'm going to chase him down. There's also glowing footprints. What is this? Some kind of goo. What is that circle with a th keeps climbing in numbers. It said one, then two, then three. I don't understand. At least it seems the burglar didn't rummage through the cabinet. It seems rather unpleasant outside. I better not. It'll start raining in. Hanging dead animals on your wall is a bit eccentric. Creepy. Some kind of a sea monster. Must be a... Creepy. Some kind of a sea monster. Must be a local myth. What a mess. I don't want to mess up the crime scene. Where did he go? This leads to the rooms. These rods are not the only thing fishy around here. I wonder what tomorrow's menu will bring. Even more of that strange goo. Darkest night. In the pale starlight, this village appears to be composed of jagged silhouettes and loneliness. A trail of goo. The thief must have left it behind. The trail leads further uptown. Hmm. Can't go there? Hey there. Taking a little night stroll? Someone was in my room. You only just got here and you already have secret admirers? No, it was a burglar. I think. Well, I haven't seen anyone sneaking around here. But if I were you, I would probably follow these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. You've got a point there. Please excuse me. This situation is growing aggravating. I followed the person who stole my notes into a kind of dead-end street. And now he's vanished. Picture me, standing here at the edge of the world, stripped of my writings. I wonder who on earth would steal a paper on quantum physics. Do you like ghost stories? 
It is said that a proto-Germanic cult used to live up here in the mountains. They prayed to the spirits of the forests. I know it's a long shot, but maybe this visitor of yours is one of those spirits? Those proto-Germans sure had a lot of imagination. Nonsense, I was just trying to mess with you. What was your name again? Tenhauser? Name's Gretchen. I'm an anthropologist. In fact, those old proto-Germanic ritual grounds just so happen to be my special subject. One of them is supposedly somewhere around here, though I haven't been able to find it yet. Mm. Gretchen, well met. Now, that's all well and good, but what am I going to do without my notes? You know what? I'm going to help you track down that burglar. It looks like he escaped with one of the old gondolas. I bet he's hiding somewhere in the mountains, which incidentally is also where I was heading. Come on, you're a scientist. You're coming with me now and you're going to help me find this ritual site. Who knows, maybe you'll even find your evil spirit there. The one with an interest in quantum whatchamacallits. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So what do you say? You with me? Mm. I... Ha! I knew you had the spirit of adventure in you. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. The early bird catches the warm and all that. We have to find a way up the mountain. It would be easiest if we used a cable car. I reckon that's also what our friend thought. The cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in pristine condition. What do you think? Don't worry, I'm sure I can fix this. I can't fix this. <laughs> the master key is missing and a weasel damaged the electric mains. Maybe it was the burglar who did this. The plan. I'll hold the position and try my best. Why don't you take a look around town? We need the master key for the cable car. Also, we need to override the broken mains. Think you can remember that? I'll try to remember. Let's go. This is going to be fun. Hmm. These binoculars should provide an excellent view of the opposite lake shore. I have to insert a coin first. Mm. It's glowing red. It seems you need a special key to get the thing running. Indeed, Mastermind. Did you already ask around town? Maybe someone there has it. High voltage. There's got to be a way we can fix this. Are you okay? Do you have brain damage? Huh. What? Record? So confused. This old generator is running at maximum strength. It's even sending out sparks. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Locked. Hello? Anybody there? What was that? Judging by the smell, this was used to transport cookies and lollipops. Okay, I have a box. I don't know. Oh, person to talk to. 
This table, it has a whopper. Everything's going down the drain around here. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. You've got yourself a nice spot here. It's heartbreaking to see the town in decline like this. Everything's going down the drain, just like this wobbly table. Hmm. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. I've been wondering about that cable car. I don't want to think about the old cable car. This wobbling table is simply unbearable. It's driving me crazy. I guess I have to fix this table. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Please don't ask. I can't even save my cognac as long as this terrible table keeps on wobbling. You better keep your distance. This table has a horrible wobble. <laughs> The antenna provides TV reception for the guest house. Oh, there's a lot of... It's the window to my room. Small ads, postings, announcements. They're holding a town fair tonight with a band and a raffle. Exciting. There's a clothesline up there, right under my window. Mm. Fresh air is still the preferable way to dry your laundry. The hinger. The antenna provides TV reception for the guest house. Just a hanger. Okay, so now I have two hangers. Why do I need two hangers? Empty. Maybe somebody hid their money in there. Interesting. I don't know why there's a record button. This muddle of spots and drips is probably telling more about the room's many previous occupants than I'd wish to know. There's something lying on the floor. It's a massage rod. Somebody must have misplaced it. <laughs> Before you even know, the world lies in ruins. I hope this isn't a bad omen. Taking a lot of stuff. Hmm. Tired. I would probably hurt myself by using a towel on the bed. We don't want to cover up these people's works of art. I don't want to mess up the crime scene.
Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Can you tell me something about the old cable car? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. Who exactly is this Baron von Sülz? Baron von Sülz used to run the mine, a philanthropist and patron of the arts. His wife was a flamboyant Baroness von Sülz. You must have heard of her. Anyway, when the company took over the mine, the Baroness dropped him as well and left the Baron behind. A broken man. Now his cat is his only remaining pleasure. What were they mining for? Do you know? An old silver mine. So nothing a um, quantum physicist would be interested in. It's been a few years, back in the days, when there was enough work for everyone. Then this company took over the mine, only to shut it down immediately. So why did they shut down the mine? There is talk and rumors all over the town. Allegedly, people started disappearing without a trace. Tourists, poor laborers without families, the odd stranger. Some folks were also talking about toxic residues in the air and the water. But nobody knows anything with certainty. If you ask me, I'm just glad the whole affair has come to an end. All those rumors have kept spa guests away for years, as you can see for yourself. What about this mysterious company you were talking of? They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. They have connections to the top, if you know what I mean. Way up to the highest circles of power. What became of the people working the mine? More and more outsiders came to town. Nobody knows what they were actually doing in the mines. Some went missing, some went crazy. Who can tell? At one point, they even bought the old sanitarium in order to provide housing for their workers. That was before the mine shut down, of course. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? I'd like to report a theft. There was an uninvited guest in my room last night. In our house? Oh dear, I'm so very sorry. Let me call the police immediately. Thanks. I will keep you informed. This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. Being the only guest, I was wondering, how's the season going so far? Season? We haven't had one in ages. Your daughter really likes watching TV, huh? You see, the kid is always in front of the box. She's got her mind set on extraterrestrials and alien worlds. Nonsense, don't you think? So what happened to your brother? The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottles. In the end, that good-for-nothing took a half too much of his bolts and shoes and just made off. Anything else I can do for you? Truda, would you pour me one of your Pilsner beers, please? Just a second, Professor. Here, a coaster. There you go. Cheers! Where'd it go? Oh. oh. Poster. I have a feeling I can use that for the table, hmm. maybe. Now, where would this lead to? Locked. Science fiction. 
something involving spaceships. She seems very focused. Hey. <laughs> She's almost in a trance. Please don't stand there. Excuse me, didn't mean to. What's that you're watching? Never seen a TV before? Coming up next, a new episode of Rocket Trip Andromeda. Uh... Have you been living under a rock? With a TV set, you can take journeys to other worlds. Now that I think of it, I have never seen you here before. Are you from another world as well? Depends on how you look at it. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey Hans, I'm Leni. My mom owns the place. 70,000 light years from home, the rocket ship has stranded in star system Omega-3. Is Berlin also in star system Omega-3? <laughs> Berlin is located right in the middle of Brandenburg. So it is worlds apart. Brandenburg? Never heard of it. Star Cybernetation Commander Aurora is searching for a way back home. And what do you do for a living? Are you a famous cybernetician too? Sorry, I'm just an ordinary space pilot. Oh, okay. Hmm. Don't be sad. Anyways, I'm going to be a star cybernetician. Only Commander Aurora can disintegrate the even Rulands into thin air with her space beams. So, do you Bellinellians have any special powers? Can you make things disappear? I can make nosy kids disappear. Don't be mean. Stay tuned, folks. We will be right back after a few consumer-oriented product endorsements. My uncle knew how to make things disappear as well. I also know where, but I mustn't tell anyone on Earth. <laughs> Your uncle was a wizard? Wizards? They aren't even real. So, what do I have to do to make you tell me? Hmm, there's only one thing I can think of. Can you prove you're not an Earthling? I'll think of something. Modern cuisine. A lump of minced meat in the shape of a hedgehog, garnished with spike resembling breadsticks. Toast to wine. Cheese skewers. Looks a bit shabby. This can must have fallen off the table. A dim oil painting showing a couple of withering roses in a vase. Some of the varnish is starting to come off. How poetic. Is that a maggot? It's having a good time. Well... There's something funny about that clock. Hmm. Look at all these beautiful people. Hmm. September 1st is circled. Another coaster. How many coasters do I need?
What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Oh, thank you so very much. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you feeling any better now that the table isn't wobbling anymore? Thank you for asking. But joy? What does it even mean? My life lost most of its joy since Klaus disappeared. Who is Klaus? Klaus is my tomcat, an angel of an animal. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now he's vanished without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Was Claus abducted? I don't know. Claus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's just awful. Could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about it. So what's with the cable car? I used to own the cable car. In fact, uh, the whole mine. Everything was taken away from me. Those maniacs destroyed everything. The cable car, the mine, uh, the whole village. Who are these maniacs you're referring to? The Millennium Cooperative, a multinational conglomerate of enterprises. Ruthless and unscrupulous. They leave us little family businesses with next to nothing. Please, go on. More and more outsiders came to town. What they were actually up to in the mine, no one knows for certain. But after a few years of quick profits, they shut down the place and closed the cable car all together in one go. Just think of it. This was my life's work. They closed down the mines, drove away the people, and turned a once flourishing community into a ghost town. You ran a mining business? Well, but yes. I am the Baron von Zulz. Entrepreneur and mining engineer in the third generation. District Mayor of Trubabrook Salts and Trubabrook Dussel. Assistant Secretary to the Municipal Council. Patron of Trubabrook and the Arts. Well known beyond the borders of this country. What do you mean they destroyed everything? First, they stripped me of the mine. Then, more and more dubious eggheads and foreign workers started pouring into town driving visitors away with the gigantic machines. These must have been difficult times for you. I appreciate your concern. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? <sighs> the cable car, the cable car. What do you want with it? There's nothing worthwhile up there. Don't bother me with your mumbo jumbo, will ya? My faithful cat Claus has abandoned me. That's all I can think of right now. You've got yourself a nice spot here. The name is Baron Otto Titan von Trüberbrook Sultz. Tannhauser, pleased to meet you. Please, come over. Don't waste the opportunity to put up with the company of a lonely, broken old man. Are you from around these parts? You may very well say so. I put all my life's work into the well-being and prosperity of Trubabrook. I once was the owner of both, the mines and the cable car. That's all history now. Do you have any friends or family? My spouse left me for good. And my beloved Trubabrook is slowly going down the drain. Only Claus remained loyal to me all these years. Alas, 
Now even he has disappeared. What kind of a strange place is this? Well, you should know. This used to be one of the most beautiful spots on the face of the planet. The fair and the fortunate came here for treatment. Travelers and tourists of all fashions. Citizens that weren't occupied in the tourism business found work in the mines. But it's all over now. Do you still have the key to the old cable car, by any chance? Please excuse me, but I need to be on my own now. I need some rest to mourn for Claus. <clears throat> any news about Claus? Nothing. Please excuse me. The time-traveling machine. Complete nonsense from a quantum mechanical perspective. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. Alright, so that is Truberbrook on the iOS, September 3rd. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye-bye.